Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 39 of my Generation Zero Let's Play series. I've got a very, very small amount of tidying up to do that I forgot to do uh, after I recorded the last episode and before I started recording this one. But I'm going to try and do this as quick as I possibly can. Just got to, you know, we could probably get rid of like a lot of this. It's going to be one of those things where I end up having that much weight and it's going to get very frustrating over time. Uh, you know, I'd rather keep those on me. Um, maybe we could scrap some of that stuff. Uh, what could we scrap? We could scrap some of these. We got a lot of first aid shots, which I do like to have on me. I'm just going to get rid of the mines that I picked up. That's fine. Go down to 72 weight. That'll do us. We've got to go over and kill these two rivals, which are just... Oh, they're, getting, they're getting up there with close to level 3. I want to see if we could do maybe this never trust anyone side quest. We've got a couple hunters to go past. Do we just kill them or go around them? What do we got? One... Two, three. Big harvester out there. We're not like harvesters really are not worth fighting. The the loot that they drop is pretty bad and they're just not really that good. You know what? I think it'd actually be easier for me to fast travel to here and then just run across that way. Then we can dodge having to fight those guys. Like, not that I mind a fight, but you know, it's it's one of those things where if we don't necessarily have to do it, we're not going to. Um, maybe health amount? So it says health increase, but you don't actually see your health go up. Like, it doesn't go to 110 and then to 120 and then to 130. It just stays the same. So I don't exactly know how that works. Whether it just means my health goes down slower to make up for it is the only thing I can think of with the way that works. Alright, we're getting there. So we got, what, 400 rounds of AP and 1,800 rounds of FMJ. We've got to go to old Bodle's house at o Overbothorp. 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 Probably be a few things we have to kill here, knowing my luck. And then we can head on to kill the rivals. God damn it. Okay. Oh. Ow. Okay, there was a little bit more here than I thought. Well, still another one. I can't see him. There we go. Ah, oh, it's a schematic. Collect eight pieces of adhesive. Twenty-four pieces of steel. And eight pieces of rubber. I mean, I've got all that stuff. Do I really have to? Like, I have more than enough of that stuff in my... Ow! <laughs> oh my god, I blew up everything in the area. Absolutely everything. It messed me up. That was ridiculous. I mean, fair enough. What? What did I miss? It says to search in there. There's nothing in here left, is there? I think I got it all. I 
I hear a big boy off in the distance. That's always good. I gotta just search in all these buildings. I, I really don't understand why I can't just use the materials I've already gathered. Why well, it's gonna make me actually search for all this stuff. And then I've got to make an explosive proof jacket or explosive resistant jacket. Alright, I got all the, all the, um, the epoxy or whatever it was, the adhesive. got bits of steel in your like in your bedroom and stuff man what is that oh, more steel now I just need all right craft a blast resistant jacket quality one there's a man outside Well, that was pretty easy. What am I doing? Craft a blast resistant jacket. Doesn't tell me what jacket is blast resistant though, does it? It's just... I gotta go through all these view schematics. Oh, there we go. Duh. Craft item. Okay. Extra blast resistance jackets. A small pile of extra blast resistant jackets that you created for the current and maybe future dwellers of the Malvids Malvads Burak Burgett Ring Fort. A jacket won't suffice to save someone's life in its own, but might provide that extra bit of protection they could need in a life or death situation. Drop off the extra blast resistant jackets at the ring at the ring fort. Okay, let's go over there then. Pretty straightforward mission. See, the issue is, is I actually... Uh, I'm worried if I kill too many more enemies, I'm actually going to level up those freaking rivals. And then I'm going to have a whole bunch of problems. Alright, where are we going? Handing you one. Oh, here we go. There you go, Veronica. That's your name, right? Yep. Beyond the Barricade. What is that? That is another side quest. Let's not do that. We are going over to fight these guys. Where's the closest I can get to? It's probably outside the air base. All right, all right. 35 rockets should be more than enough to take out at least one of them. We can pump some rounds into them as well, and that should finish them off. Oh, you know... You know what I could do? Grab this guy. Grab. Put that away. Put that away. Look at the extended mag. Grab one of these. And then grab some 556 five, ammunition. Go to this, attachments, muzzles, machine gun silencer. I'm going to put a two times side on that. So let's grab this one. Go here, attachments, sights. Chuck this on it. Full metal jacket ammo. And then uh, equip this one in slot one. Oh, 72 rounds of goodness. Of oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to check assignments real quick again.
Okay, I've I've done them all. Just making sure. All right, let's go out to this rival and let's go uh, smash his face in. What's he got around him? Looks like a lot of dead enemies around here. A lot of dead hunters and stuff. I've never used this gun, so I don't know how we're going to go with this. But I figured it's worth a shot. We can just drill him. And we've got a nice trench here as well, which is good. But maybe we hit him with a surprise rocket. I need to jump up. Okay. The trench is good. It, it, the trench is better. Man, the recoil is pretty crazy. Not really surprising, I guess. Do we have the extended mag on this? We do. I feel like most of these bullets aren't even hitting, right? It's pretty hard to control the recoil on this thing. Oh god, I, I freaking switched before it finished the reload animation. Where are you going, bitch? What the fuck's happening to him? Um, it's also a good way to go through the 5.56 ammo and have it serve a purpose rather than just, you know, scrapping it. Okay, we might need to blast that plate off so I can smash him straight in the face. Because this gun is not the most accurate thing in the world. Straight through the gap, my dude. Okay. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't even teleport away because... Okay, maybe that's good. Maybe that's a good thing. Yes, it was a good thing. Wait, does that say... Oh, I defeated a player. Don't worry. It's me. Hey, do you guys want to... Fuck off? Yeah? I might have to go back for some um, more meds. Like, half these shots don't even seem to hit. Either. I've noticed. Which is a bit of an issue. Ah, 
Okay. Come on, please die. How long do you want to do this for? I think his front face plate's blown off. So now we switch ammo. We'll switch guns. Get the cock going. Yeah, it is. Okay, he's got to be getting close to dying. When he goes boom, he's hide. Like, we could definitely finish this fight faster, but like I said, I'm really trying to just use this ammo and... Okay, there we go. Phoenix armor plate. Looks like Jenny, Janet and Layla have made themselves comfortable. Are you sure you don't mind that we're moving all our junk in here? No, not at all. It's really nice to have other people around. Makes the place feel human. Freddy was always bringing in things to boost morale. We need things like that to remind us life's still worth living. Because otherwise, what the hell are we fighting for? Um, fair. Alright, where's this second bad boy at? Up here. Alrighty. Um, how are we doing on meds? Uh, I think we need... You know what? That might not be a bad idea. Maybe drop one of those bad boys down and just use that. What's looking at me? There's some runners. There's a flying boy over there. I'm gonna try and ignore him. I've got a hunter down here. There's a few hunters over there. I mean, there's a very real possibility that when we get over to this rival and start fighting him, we draw the attention of them, but I'm thinking it might be far enough away that we won't. Hopefully. So what do we got? We got AP or FMJ. I guess we'll continue to use the FMJ. I really wish I could crouch walk faster. Maybe if it was like half the visibility chance of standing up. To, to like sprint crouch. That would be really dope. Alright, so... Oh. Alright, so I'm hoping it's just the rival over here. Not too many other factors to deal with. That would be ideal, and I really need a spot where I can be in cover while I fight him, too. Um, I guess we could use the cars, maybe, if we wanted to. Alright, we got a bit of a problem. We've got this guy in the background that's going to cause some issues while we fight this guy. We're going to end up having to fight two tanks at once here. I can try and take out the other tank, but we're definitely going to alert this guy when we're fighting him. I don't know whether there's a way to avoid that. Or maybe we'll get lucky. He actually doesn't know where I'm at right now. Funnily enough. Is 
He's actually just being drilled and then we're hiding well enough that he actually doesn't know we're here. Which is interesting. I've never done that before. It's all trying to hit him while he's looking away from me. Oh, straight through the gap. Because he won't actually attack me until he goes into combat mode, which he's not at the moment. This is very interesting. He's actually going to completely lose me. Interesting. Okay, now he knows. Somehow we entered combat. We should have just kept pumping him while it was like glitched out or something. Okay, we need to get behind cover. He can still hit us with a uh, with a rocket. If we're not careful. Alright, this is going pretty well actually. I'm just drilling this man with rockets. I mean, we got off about seven or eight before he'd even actually um, been able to notice me. I've been meaning to ask you, Veronica, how the hell do you know so much about these big old alien machines? Can we've been over this. They're not aliens. Anyway, von Ulmer taught me everything I know. As in Dr. Right. Svante von Ulmer, the director of FUA 35? The guys who made little machines that could hijack rat brains oh, we need. and make them dance on cue. It was FUA 53. We need to go and get Our goal was um, synchronization some more rockets. Between organic nervous systems and computer systems. It was going to revolutionize medicine for disabled people, for Alzheimer's patients. I guess someone else decided to use our work for war. Yeah, it's pretty disappointing. Not really surprising though, honestly. The human race will always default to war if given the opportunity, pretty much. So I've been hearing my children running up and down and playing. They're enjoying themselves, but they make a bit of noise when they do that. Of course, like all kids, you know, they're just having fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. We need to... We need to do something. I don't know what we're going to do. This weight stuff is becoming a real nuisance. This is me every episode now as I have to deal with weight. Even the weight in this I'm going to have to deal with. I'm really going to have to run one of those fights. The home defense missions, so I can try and offload some weight uh, out of that storage. I mean, I probably don't need that many rounds on me either. Um, probably don't even need that many rounds of that on me either. Or this. 25 of those seems reasonable. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. Two, like, 24 should be enough to kill... Uh... This tank. Should be fine, the military tank. Should be able to take it down, no problem. Yeah, so if you can hear them running around out, outside my door and that they're playing laser tag in the hallway before bed, so... Honestly didn't know they were going to be doing that, but... Hey man, the kids, they do they do that type of stuff. Uh, I honestly think using this is better than bothering with the LMG. Even though the LMG can put 72 rounds down range, I don't think its damage is anywhere near as high. 
So I think it works out more or less the same. I hear another big boy apart from the one we're going to kill. Hopefully we only have the one in this area and there's not two. And we can just focus fire the one and not have to try and take out a second one because that's going to make this whole process a hell of a lot more complicated. Yeah, it's going to make it all complicated as a harvester. Oh my god, I know, I know I can jump this fence. I believe I can jump this fence. There we go. You know, when you look at something and go, yeah, I could do that. That was one of those moments where I was like, oh, I could definitely do that. I'll pull it off. All right, there's hunters around. A um, couple destroyed tanks. I'm trying to see if there's a spot I can be in cover. If we could get a bunch of shots off without getting shot at, would be really sick, but I don't think that's going to happen. I am amazed at how quickly you adapt. Sounds for me, Veronica, huh? The evolved one. Hopefully this is the last one we have to kill. Did I just shoot that in my own face? What the hell happened? He's freaking out again. I must have like stunned him. Oh shit. I had my hand off the keyboard for a sec there. Oh, go away, Hunter. I can't deal with your bullshit. You're such a fuck. This guy is going fucking wild over here, man. That's got to be a glitch, right? I'm turning it down. It's very loud in my ears. Maybe I couldn't shoot him while he was in that mode, I don't know. He's the evolved one. Oh shit. God damn it. Those are other hunters and stuff in the distance. Ah, uh, getting close up. Oh my god. Alright, we got five rounds left. It's interesting how I beat basically the entire game without dying too much, and then the two DLCs have killed me flat out. Alright, we're finishing, finishing him off with the AK. It looks like.
Well, thank God that didn't seem to affect me. Oh my God. You gotta be getting close to death, dude. You gotta be. Okay, you literally were very close to death. A sledgehammer. Good job getting those parts. Let's focus on armoring up that truck and getting the C4. Kelly, you said you know how to acquire some. You just leave the explosives to me, and I'll just ignore how your body swamped the built an uh, army of robots. Damn. That's not what happened. Damn, Veronica, it was all you, you bitch. You did it all. Let's blame her, because it's easier to blame other people. Um, so we're going to put the armor on this truck. Where the fuck is that? Place armor onto the front of the truck. Where? Ah, oh, here. It's... It, like, is hidden behind the, the safe house for the place that I can't think of. The ring, ring hole? <laughs> what, is it, what is it called? What is it? What is it? What is it? The ring fort. The ring hole. <laughs> you know, you know, the ring hole, man. Yeah, that one. The ring hole. Now, this is where magic happens. What do you think? Let's put some armor on the truck, shall we? Holy shit. That shit looks awesome. Uh, look for a snowplow for the truck and pinpoint the, the location of the cannon. Oops. Photo mode. Ah, oh, beautiful. That looks magnificent. Talk to Callie in the Ringfort Tunnels. Alright, we're going to do that real quick, and then we're going to end off this episode. Oh, we get to... Oh, hello. How you doing? Our special delivery for Phoenix is almost done. Uh, just make sure you grab Veronica's uh, little Dewey key. Pick up Veronica's hacking device. Where? Oh. Dewey How insulting. This baby is state of the art. It's running on the same software as Phoenix, so it might give us access to its vulnerabilities. I believe it when I see it. In the meantime, if something is in our way, uh, we need to be able to shove it off the road. Maybe there's something down in the old scrapyard we can weld to the truck. A snowplow or something. Okay. Now, where is this scrapyard at? Over there. I've apparently not been there before. And there is also a side quest. Apocalypse race. On a piece of dot matrix paper, Jenny and her sister jotted down rules for their so-called race. It was their way to challenge each other in a cycling faster escape machines and find some gallows humour in these tragic circumstances. The Apocalypse Race, official rules, only one bikes are, one, only bikes are allowed to enter the race. In order to win the Apocalypse Race, contestants will be required to go to the starting line of the bridge near the neighbourhood of Lila Olstevik. Pass each checkpoint before the lot of time runs out. Deliver the required supplies at the rendezvous point. That's the whole point of why we do this, after all, not die. Note, engaging machines will not result in any disqualification, but we strongly recommend against it for your own sake. Try to have fun, just don't laugh out. Don't laugh out loud. Wow. 
So that is actually a mission we can do, is race bikes. <laughs> Alright, well, we might do that next episode as well. That sounds like it could be a hoot. Just for a, just for a bit of shits and giggles, yeah? You know. I think that's the way to go. I think that is the way to go. Ammo and stuff around here. This is all good, all good stuff. All good stuff. You better watch this door, Kenneth. I'm telling you, you better watch this door. Ow! Oh! The fuck lit me on fire here? Kenneth, mate, you're pushing your fucking luck. I'm telling you. I got damaged then, and it, I'm just going to blame you. It's your fault. So anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Generation Zero in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace!